Hello my dear friends, this is Coxter. Finally, I have now and before I will go on for my next monster series the time to clean up my to-do list. This video is an addendum to my personal deconversion story and also the two videos I made on my own understanding of uh, active atheism and anti-theism. The first of these videos were called uh, Business Competition Wins and the second one uh, Atheism The Next Generation. Please check them out, I have linked them here below and also I have linked uh, Emily's video. Emily is the channel Born without religion and it's about the same context so I think it will be good to post this as an answer to this video. I explained in my serial that I come from a known religious family and well, I can even say an atheist family. Uh, during three years of my young life I chose to do a short excursion uh, through the fascinating world of Catholicism. Uh, during this period, so my age uh, 8 to 12, I was an ex-atheist. I didn't receive any religious education from my family and was curious. May I say, uh, I had a lack of information about religion which made me curious. Now, I was a person who wanted to know, or maybe was what I call an atheist by ignorance. I spoke also shortly about my brother. He, two years younger, never had this curiosity and due to a certain intellectual laziness couldn't be catched by any religion. Now between me and my brother are those kind of religious people claiming having been atheist before they found their faith. Those people are today the most fanatic and the most fundamental, like also convertites are, and we know some of them here on the tubes. Here I will now try to compare, in my opinion, the difference between American and European atheism. The European atheism is a weak, uninformed atheism. And here I mean the mainstream. It's a daily life atheism because in Europe nobody normally confronts you with religion in your daily life. You don't have, as an European atheist, to be educated about religion. You don't need to have knowledge about religion to defend yourself against religion. Unfortunately, this lack of information can and is exploited by the extreme right to spread fear, and also from the Christ social mid-right to force people to identify themselves to their cultural Christianity. And this to have an opposition point against the growing non-Christian immigration. This is exploiting this weak uninformed atheism to form a political opposition bloc against everything which is not from the native territorial culture. On the other side, the American atheism is a strong informed atheism. Most of American atheists come from a more or less strong Christian background and grow out of their religions because of education and because they really went through the teachings of their respective denominations to find out, mostly secretly and by themselves, 
that these teachings are nothing else than old myth. An American atheist had to go through an understanding of evolution, biology, cosmology, geology, and many other sciences who simply contradict the teachings of their former religions. The American atheist is a stronger and better informed atheist than the European is. So for the future I would be much more worried about what's going on in Europe. The rat catchers, even those from our own communities, and you know all of them even here on YouTube, these are those who drive their minions, their minions who are also our weak atheists, in the arms of the more and more extreme political and also religious positions. The only way out is to work together for growing secular human society. It's really in the middle that we can speak together, that we can construct our future. On both other extremes is only hate, war, bigotry and stupidity. Let me please know what do you think. This was Cockster.